Hi guys and welcome to this video and today we're going to be looking at what are called function machines and to be fair this is again continuing the kind of work we've been doing with sequences and with algebra and equations this is kind of building you up to working out formulas equations and algebra okay so we're going to be looking at function machines we're going to start off by looking at one step function machines so we can get used to using them now they are quite simple and I really don't think there's too much for us to worry about here. But let's quickly run through the steps to success. First up, I can write out the correct number sentence. So in a minute, you'll see what the function machine looks like. And from that, you need to be able to write the, the, the correct number sentence, the correct sum, okay? Then from there, you look to work it out. And then once you've worked it out, you can put the number in the box. Now, for each function machine, there's three uh, kind of questions, I suppose, you've got to do. So then the final uh, step success is to make sure you complete them. So there's our steps to success. Let's have a look at an example function machine here. So this might be a little bit what our function machine looks like. So we're going to start with four and then we're going to add three and then from that we're going to have to find out the answer. So isn't it generally as simple as this? This is very simple. So first step I can write out the correct number sentence. So the correct number sentence here would be four plus three, and that would equal seven. Four plus three is seven. And then we'd write that in. So that is how simple it is. Now, the point I'd make here, just to go a little bit further, is with the success criteria, the last one, I can complete the rest of the function machine. So you'd have another three num another two numbers over here. So you might have, say, a seven, you might have a two, and to both of those numbers, you'd have to add three each time, okay? And that would be your function machine. We can have a look at a little, another example here. So I've got a few more we can do. So we could write in, say, we could have six here times two, okay? So let's run through those steps of success again. So I can write out the correct number sentence. So the number sentence here would be six times two. I can work it out, would be 12, and then I could work it in and then complete this function machine. Like I say, there should be like another three more. Let's do another one, but you, I'm hoping you're seeing how simple this is, and this is hopefully just building you up for having a go at the trickier one. Okay, let's try seven. Oh, let's do a tricky one. Let's do times 30. So we've got a little, so this is trickier because we've got a little bit of smile method I hope you've identified here. So we might do seven times 30 equals, so I've written out, first step I've written out, then I need to work it out, it's a bit of smile method. Seven times three, seven, 14, 21, put the zero on 210. So the answer there would be 210, okay? Then you might have another one, let's do 45, and you could have divide. You could have any of the four operations in here. Okay, so the number sentence I'd need to work, write out here would be 45 divided by 5. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So I've done nine jumps. The answer would be nine. So, then, so that's the first step. Second step, write it in. And then I might have some more, okay? So hopefully you can see how simple working out one step function machines are and have a really good go, okay? Thanks for watching guys, good luck.